Hey YouTube, how do you start playing with a puppy? Or even, should you play with a puppy? Is it a good thing to play? Is it maybe not a good thing to play? Now today I'm playing with a herding breed. She is literally very new to any of this and this isn't something she's particularly done before. What I really want to show you is first stages. Now, she is quite an intense little dog. She's a Border Collie, she's a herding breed. So I'm picking something appropriate for her. Now, what I have picked today for you to see is something that moves, something that has a bit of a, uh, a life in it uh, and something that I can get a bit of uh, distance from as well. Now, the important thing, YouTube, is that you play with something appropriate for your dog. It might be a ball, it might be a ball on a rope, it could be a tuggy toy, it could be the magic little sheepy thing that this puppy seems to like. Now, I add noises to it. I'm quite animated. At the end of the day, stay fun, stay enjoying it, and actually your dogs will enjoy it too. I think for me, you add the energy in and you get to add the fun in here. And I think this is really powerful stuff. So we're gonna have a quick go at it. We're gonna see how it goes. I've dropped my lead already and uh, my toy rather. Ready? Let's try this again. Three, two, one. Wow, good girl, super. Now, she's got hold of that one but I know that she doesn't particularly like holding things at the moment. So as she lets go of it, watch what I do, and I'm just gonna whip that one away. So all I do when she gets hold of it is I whip it away. Now the important thing is here, and this is really important, is that literally you don't rip it out of their mouth, good, that you actually take it sort of very gently away. Now important information for you to know here, guys, she's a puppy. So what I'm not gonna do is race it around and go crazy, and I'm also not gonna do long sessions of this. This is a short session uh, and it's not going to be something she does every day. This is a little building passion in play. Now also notice I'm going to try and get her to parade with it. So what we're doing here is a bit of parade training. So can she walk around or trot around or canter around? Is she able to sort of gently move uh, in this direction and have a bit of a fun time doing it? That's the goal. What we don't want to do is we don't want to let her stay lying down for too long and start shredding it. Now here she's got her feet on it so what I don't want to do is move it at the wrong time so that I sort of trap a little legs on it you do need to play thoughtfully guys so when you're playing good a little bit of parading a little bit more parading a little bit more parading good girl good girl super super and see if we can get it go the other way some dogs can some dogs can't that's very good that's very good that's very good that's very 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 good yes good girl very clever very very clever and at that note I'd probably say that was very good that's almost enough wow it's gone it's almost enough it's almost enough and we're done now when you're playing in this sense keep it sort of safe you don't want to flip her around the air you might want to practice even without your dog just using this one and actually seeing that you can handle it notice that she's still interested in this one she doesn't get to keep this one when she goes home I'm very sorry but she doesn't get to take it with her this one literally only comes out for little training sessions you keep it focused you keep it fun you keep it entertaining and then it's gone and that's the magic of reinforcement play puppy training. Now remember, safety first, don't overdo it. These are short little sessions. You saw I was gentle. You saw I didn't backflip her or jolt her. If you're play, playing with a particularly large breed, be aware joints have not finished and you don't wanna be doing this for a long time. It's a very short passion, fun time and keep it light hearted. Remember, you could be playing with a tennis ball. You could be playing with loads of different options here. I'm showing you just one and I'm showing you with a herding breed. I think it's one of the herding breed passions and I'm passionate about herding breeds. So I felt appropriate showing you that one. Now, remember YouTube, you may have a sister, a mother, a long lost brother, a lich, well, you may have a long lost lover or a brother. The big thing is we want you to share this video. We know that dog training needs to ripple because there's an aversive place out there. There's a place that's not so happy for dogs out there. There's a place where punishment and literally force is the way to train dogs. And we don't want people seeing that way. We want them to see this way. So please, please, please like, share, comment, make sure everyone knows about it. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Get involved in games-based learning. It surely is the way.